Kitchen. Hey, what's happening, world? Hey, Munch Boxing. Back at it once again with another boxing video. This is my breakdown and prediction for this fight we got coming up this weekend. Crept up on me, man. I didn't even realize this fight. They fight. They fighting in um, in Spain at the Rock with Gibraltar. I'm looking forward to it, man. I already told y'all, man. I like boxing in, in exotic places, you know? Foreman versus Joe Frazier in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you know, Tyson versus Buster Douglas in Tokyo. Ali versus um, Foreman in Kinshasa Zaire. Ken Norton versus George Foreman in Caracas, Venezuela. You know what I'm saying? Exotic places, man. You know, not the typical MSGs, MGMs, back in the day, Caesar's Palace. You check it. So, we got this fight coming up. Darian White versus Pavetkin. You know what I'm saying? And um, this is a fight I'm very conflicted on, you know? This is one of the toughest breakdown and predictions I've probably done on these YouTube streets since I've been on, you know what I mean? And um, it's difficult to call, you know. The man Pavekin is a very savvy veteran. Two losses, all in world title fights. You know what I mean? Um, first loss was to Vladimir Klitschko in 2013. Then I believe was it 2019? Uh, 2019, maybe 2018. He lost to. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, what you call it? Man, man lost to, Black, to Anthony Joshua. If I'm not mistaken, six rounds KO. All right? So Povetkin's a savvy veteran. Fought a whole lot of people. You know what I mean? But that fight he had versus Dillian White, I'm not too sure how many people really expected that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when the results happened, was anybody shocked? I, I wasn't. Dillian White ain't never lost on points. Dillian White's lost via KO. Has Dillian White been stunned numerous times in the heavyweight division? Absolutely, the Bambi legs, spaghetti legs. So the end result, nobody was surprised. And that wasn't just no, um, just by KO, like the man got up on his feet and nine or ten and the, the referee stopped it nah not at all man that man got put to sleep he got his lights cut out you know what i mean on some real ish you checking so this fight right here is going to be either revenge or repeat revenge for delia white or repeat for the man um what you call him uh, uh alexander povetkin all right so keys to victory you know the man, Dillian White, has to go to this old man's body. If he goes, has to live by his moniker, the body snatcher. He has to go to the body early and often. You know what I'm saying? Break him down with the jab, disguise the jab to the head, jab to the stomach, straight right to the stomach, left and right hooks to the gut. Okay? He's going to also not have to stay in front of the man. He's going to have to circle towards his left. You know what I mean? To circle towards his left at all times. You know what I mean? While digging in that left hook into Povet, how some people call him Povetkian, into Povetkian. I remember at one point in time we call it Petvetkin because of his meldonium and all these banned substances that the man was used to taking, you know? So that's what Dillian White has to do in order to keep Povetkin basically having to reset and take away his best. Uh, punch, which is his left hook, you know what I mean? Povetkin has decent head movement, and that's one thing the man, Dillian White, has to make sure he's um, uh, he's, he's going to have to make adjustments because the man got head, good head movement, and he's going to have to just keep ripping him to the body, you know what I'm saying? Ripping him to the body and, and disguising also left hooks to the body with straight right hands down the pipe, you know what I mean? But circling towards his left, you know? Povetkin, I'm sorry, the man has to make sure he boxes the man. Otherwise, 
it would be in Povetkin's favor if the man Dillian White decides to stand in the pocket, trade with the man, and just kind of slug it out. That would what what would that would be what Povetkin would actually prefer. You know what I mean? Let's see what this young man got as far as his golf game. Let's see what he got. Uh, that was kind of weak. But hey, man, who am I to say anything? I'm not that great myself. I just come out here for the exercise. Also a good place to clear your mind and um, enjoy the great fresh air. You see these beautiful blue skies, man. Behind these trees, I would show you some beautiful mountain ranges, but you probably see them better early morning in a clear morning. So... That's what the man Dillian White needs to do. Povetkin, as far as him, keys to victory. Povetkin has to have employ a lot of head movement. You know what I'm saying? He has to cut off the ring. Cut off the ring with uh, great agility. And he has to be trying to make also throw them right hooks, straight right hands. You know what I mean? Throw them straight right hands in order to force the man um, uh, uh, Dillian White to circle now towards his right and walk into a left hook, you know what I mean? Povetkin also has to throw that beautiful uppercut the same way he did it, man. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna have to make that man, Dillian White, think about how he got put to sleep, you know what I mean? In more devastating fashion than the what, what the man, uh, uh, um, what's his name, Anthony Joshua did because Anthony Joshua was a devastating uppercut too. But Povetkin's actually put this big, big man down to sleep cut his lights out you know what I mean check it the man was in a temporary coma got separated from his senses you check it and we have to see if the man Povetkin can apply the pressure a Povetkin has not, nothing to lose and if Povetkin wants to come out this fight with the victory he has to go all out and not be in there trying to just box and um you know, let his foot off the gas, you know what I mean? This should be a continuation from round five when he knocked out Dillian White, okay? Povetkin has to throw them right hands often, throw them body shots, also try to wear the man down. Cut off the ring, wear the man down as far as with the body shots so the man could be more in stagnant position, okay? And um, if he does that, he has a great opportunity to make this a sequel, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be hard for difficult for, for the man uh, Povetkin to win this fight on points, you know what I mean? And I think he's going to be pretty spent going into the later rounds, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying from like round 8, 9, 10, if he's still there trying to outbox the guy but still trying to figure him out, it's going to be difficult for the man um, uh, Povetkin to win this fight on points. So he has to put the pressure on him early. If Povetkin gets knocked out or stopped, so be it. You know what I'm saying? That should be his motto. But he, of course he has to be defensively responsible, you know what I mean? He's going to have to tap into how he beat guys like Carlos Taco. When Carlos Taco, to me, was winning that fight by the time he got stopped, you know what I mean? Same position that he was in with Dillian White. He was Dillian White was winning that fight. Dropped Povetkin twice. But Povetkin obviously has something in him that he has belief that he can stop the guy, knock him out, no matter if he's down on points. And if he does that, has that uh, kind of um, you know mentality and mindset, very well the same outcome could happen. Because really and truly, Dillian White now is who he is. A guy who's two, you know, in his two losses, they've come be a devastating knockout. The guy went um, life and death with a Derek Chisora, okay? He was even losing to Derek Chisora in the second fight before he eventually knocked out Derek Chisora. A great knockout, you know, because of the fact that he was down on points, okay? Not why, but he was definitely down on points on my scorecard. I mean, so let me take off my mask, man. I hope y'all can hear me well. So with that being said, 
Dillian White as far as who do I punch in power, do I believe in more? I believe in Povetkin more. Whose boxing ability do I believe in more? I believe in the man Dillian White. And Dillian White, if he can make this, I'm not thinking of a knockout being overly aggressive. He could possibly win on points, you know what I mean? But in this rematch, I'm possibly thinking, I'm just, I'm leaning towards the man Povetkin. I know Povetkin's an older guy. But Povetkin is more of a natural seasoned fighter with a uh, gold medalist, okay? A guy with the big amateur background. You know, he's incredibly compared to the man Dillian White, who came from the kickboxing um, realm. And kickboxing is not quite like boxing, you know what I'm saying? And I think that he's, he's more of a fighter than a boxer. And Povetkin can do both. So I'm gonna have to lean towards Povetkin, and I believe he's gonna get another knockout or stoppage, probably in the ninth round, you know what I mean? You know, this fight could go either way. Povetkin by knockout or the guy, Dillian White, on points. But if Povetkin is not, um, look, man, Povetkin was giving Anthony Joshua work in the first two rounds, man. He stunned the man, you know what I mean? So Povetkin is not no BS fighter or a guy who's hanging on to his last threat, you know what I'm saying? You know, a guy like Michael Hunter, now that fight I had to draw, or if anybody should have won, it should have been Michael Hunter. He's a boxer with movement. Not so much. Be much boxing, I gave you all my prediction. In the seventh or eighth, ninth, eight, eight, seventh to ninth round stoppage for the man, Alexander Povetkin. Time will tell. Time will be revealed this Saturday in Gibraltar, Spain, and we shall see. All right, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Enjoy your day, peoples. I'm gone. One.